Okay, so in this problem we have a probability distribution function and we have to find the probability density function. So this here, big F, is our distribution function. And it's a probability distribution for the random variable capital Y. So this defines it in terms of values of little y. So we want to find the uh, probability density function. So to do that, all we have to do is basically take the derivative of each piece and then think a little bit about what's happening um, at the endpoints here. So little f of y, that's going to be our probability density function, is equal to, and let's go ahead and take the derivatives first and then think about what's going on here on the right. So the derivative of 0 is just 0, and the derivative of y is just 1, and the derivative of 1 is simply um, 0. All right, so the first condition was defined if y was less than or equal to 0. So in this case, you'll notice uh, that there's no way this is going to be continuous here. Um, you're going from 0 and you're jumping to 1. So we have to exclude the zero. Same thing here, we'll go ahead and exclude the zero. And again, we're jumping from one to zero here, so we'll go ahead and exclude the one. So typically you end up excluding the endpoints, and this will just be y bigger than one. So basically all we did is take the derivative of each piece and we turned all of these uh, weak inequalities into strong inequalities. We, we drop the equal to part on each piece. And the reason is that it's not continuous, right? If, if, you, if I do this, let me do it in a different color. If I put this here and I put this here, I'm saying that it's equal to zero and it's also equal to one. So I'm saying that when y is zero, it's equal to zero by the first condition. And then it's equal to one by the second condition. Well, that can't be, right? So, so we throw it away. We end up throwing away uh, the equality part. And this here would be your density function. So given a distribution function, all you have to do is just take the derivative of each piece and then just think about what happens at the endpoints. Um, in this case, uh, it wouldn't make any sense to include uh, the endpoints. I hope this video has been helpful.